Good evening and welcome. I've got stuff on the floor here. Okay. Hi. Welcome. I'm Kyriana and we are continuing um, cross stitching. I, if you've been on my channel lately, I've been doing some Lego builds, but now we are back to what I mainly do, which is cross stitch. So, first off, Sarah and Nadia, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. And we have lovingly called this carousel horse cross stitch ruffle butt because of all these ruffly bits that we're working on in the butt. So yeah, I know it's late, um, but yeah, unfortunately with everything, this is about what we're looking at in terms of time sometimes. So I don't even remember what color this is. There's not enough to really do anything with on here. So I'm going to put this into another location and go from there. I'm not even 100% sure where I am. I just kind of like, okay, I'm going to stream and here I am. Hello. So where are we going and what are we doing? I am not sure, but uh, a couple things. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you know that I do quite a few projects at once, and I finished up this month's um, part of Dog Through Time, which is this part here, our 60s Mod Squad type style dogs. So there's everything so far for the next month. So get you up close with those 60s dogs. Look at them. They're so cool. Yep, there they are. But yeah, this was... This one's been fun so far. Definitely something that I would not have picked out on my own. So get to put that aside until the middle of July, which I won't get to pick up until I get back from Seattle. Going to Seattle for a long weekend in July. Second, uh, started a new project today. Yay, new project hype. Going into uh, Abyss Cornu. So this is where I am at right now. I have done the border, so I know where my square is. And working on this gorgeous fabric dyed by Naka. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm in love with it. I'm like, I don't want to cut it up to make this cordu, but it's going to be so pretty when it's done. And there's some detail of what works going on. It's going to be this flowery thing. And I realize I totally fail in terms of what setting up my stream. We are not working on that um, in the corner. Where is it? Realize we still have what I was working on in the last stream in the corner. That's not what we're working on. So I apologize for a little bit of... Where is... There it is. A little bit of... Oop, and it's really tiny. That's what we're working on. There we go. So there, sorry about that. Realize what that going on. So yeah, that's what we've gotten so far. We're gonna be putting this one aside for a couple, um, for a bit, because I still have fish to work on. So once I finish with the fish, I will be going back to this. So put that aside, but we all are not here to show off what I'm working on outside of stream. We're here to work on ruffle butt. So here's where we're at so far. Look at that. It's roughly, there's a butt going on soon. And we're gonna figure out where we're going right in here. So, look at my pattern. I think we are going to be moving in here. So, my pattern's off the side over here. And let me see if I can figure out exactly where we're going. two colors in there. Look at that. So I do apologize. I'm looking at this pattern trying to figure out where I am. It's definitely one of those kind of where are we going? I don't know. Bring it in closer so I can see without being out of screen. Okay so this is this part here, this part. Alright so we are working on letter C. I don't even know where my cheat sheet is. So I have to look on the other side. Do, 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 do. Ikru. I'm going to be working with Ikru. So more Ikru. I'm going to get into my box of floss and find the Ikru. Hey, 
There's Ecru. Kind of funny. Yeah, I haven't worked on it in a few weeks. I'm like, where the heck am I? Oh, yeah, you feel that pain, don't you, Saren, with working on um, your Pegasus? Like, what did I do? Where have I been? Luckily, I didn't leave Floss Park, so I'm not too. I get to start in a new spot. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'll figure it out. It's all good. I thought about working on the Biscard on screen stream, but as Saren's community um, let me know that um, no, we would not be working on the Biscornu. We would be working on the Carousel Horse. Because I think there would have been a riot if I hadn't. The last thing I need is a riot in my stream. Okay, now that I have found my spot and where I'm going, we can start stitching. Unfortunately, we're stitching Ikru on ivory fabric, so that means you're not going to see much, and I apologize. But I know we're not, we're here for more than just watching me stitch. We're here for conversation and company. Yay! Come on. And now I can't thread a needle. You would think with the larger eyes on the tapestry embroidery needle type things, you'd be able to thread, but nope. Can't thread a needle, save my life most of the time. So we're actually moving into more ruffles of the ruffly ruffle butt. So yay, we're actually doing some ruffle butting today. And I tend not to loop start because if I loop start, I get really crazy in how long my threads are. If I... <laughs> Hello, hell, riots. Yes. There would have been riots, and I don't need riots in my street. No riots. We're here to have fun. We're not here to riot. And plus, with this being a Teresa Wensler, there being a whole bunch of different blends. It's easier to not. It's easier to keep your threads all about the same length so you don't have to worry about when you're blending and not. This pattern, the carousel horse, or the pattern you're working on for your Biscornu, Saren? Because I really, I am enjoying, I enjoyed tuning into your stream. I wish I could have been more active in chat, but unfortunately, when you're at work, you really aren't supposed to be watching Twitch, but you know, sometimes I do. And of course, like any good Teresa Wensler, you're jumping around a lot. <laughs> there were pitchforks and torches ready? Oh man, I feel the love. It's awesome. No, no pitchforks and torches needed in this stream. Okay. okay this is where I'm trying to say if I, I just did these small stitches and now it's like, oh, and... Okay. Actually, that's too bad. I can pick it up right here. I thought I was going to have done four stitches 
with Ikru and have to switch to another color. And that would have made me very frustrated. That is one thing that I'm working with the, well, other than the fish, which is a lot of kind of confetti stuff. <laughs> of course. Yeah, the fish have been kind of confetti and, but the dogs through time isn't confetti and neither is my Biscorn new. So it's kind of nice to go back to something that jumps around in colors. Which this one does. But one thing that's nice about this pattern is it seems to be more blocks of color than confetti. So it definitely works. You know, it's a little less mind numbing than doing, say, a lot of confetti. I won't be getting able to get a weekend stream in this weekend because um, Cujo and I are going to be very busy. But in the coming weekends, I'd like to throw in a weekend stream just so I am not having all late night streams. I know this is late for a lot of people and I'd love to do an earlier stream, but work makes that difficult and my longer commute. I get to do a lot of stitching, but I don't get to do a lot of streaming. Which makes things interesting. Really, I missed a stitch. It's easy to see if I can backtrack. Yeah, I was able to backtrack. In the last few weeks, I've worked. I've worked on so many different textures of fabric for my cross stitch. I've got eight a cloth going on in a couple. Uh, this is on Joblin. I've got. I just recently finished a project not too long ago on linen. I've got Monaco going on. So many different fabric choices. getting our ruffle butt going. So we're just working on this ruffle bit. So we've got flowers and stuff in here, and then we got more ruffle that makes up the rest of the ruffle butt. So the question becomes, if we once I move out of ruffle butt completely, because eventually I'll have to move off the horse's butt, do we still call it ruffle butt? Is this carousel horse forever known as ruffle butt? Is that just his name now? I don't know. I have not decided yet. But definitely going to get a big chunk of the ruffly ruffle butt done. From here, I haven't quite decided exactly, once I get this ruffle part done, exactly where I'm going to move to next. Oh no, your puggles have melted in the heat. It's really warm up there right now. It was average today. It's supposed to be miserable this weekend where we're going to be. So of course we're going to, you know, tough it up and do it.
Keisha's doing okay. She's not in here with me right now. I left her out with my husband so she could have some company. Though she would just sleep in here. Though if I do, this might be good for Keisha as well. Annika has become super interested in the dog and must touch the dog. And the dog has become super tolerant, which is nice. But we're trying to get her used to the fact that when Keisha's on her bed, Keisha's off limits. So, unfortunately that hasn't quite sunk in yet, and I get it, she's a baby, she's learning. But poor Keish. so if I do a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon stream, I can definitely have Keish in here with me, and the baby can run around like a crazy baby, driving my husband crazy, poor Cujo, but Keish can get a little bit of peace and quiet and not have to worry about the baby. which will be good for the dog. So I have one more day on the train this week. I will be commuting in tomorrow by train. And then I took a three-day weekend so we could go camping, but it's going to be really, really hot. So instead of camping at this medieval event that we're going to, we are going to be day tripping. Which is doable because we're still in the mentality that we live in Orange County. And we don't live in Orange County anymore. So where the event is, is much closer to where we're currently living. Totally making a day trip doable. Which will be good. It means we can sleep in our own beds, which is always nice. I'm almost feeling like I've, since I've done so many carousel the themed things on this stream, I may have to look into finding all the carousel things to do. I have three more seasonal carousel horses. I do have a carousel full stitch by Teresa Wensler. I have a dragon carousel and that is Patricia Allison. I believe she's got an Etsy store for that has that pattern. And then I've got from a, I think it was a cross stitch crazy that had a carousel on the cover. Carousel horse. So I had to buy that cross stitch crazy. And I did. It's buried in one of my bins. Definitely one of my goals in the next coming weeks is to get this space completely organized. It's kind of workable now, but it's got I've got a lot of boxes still and things kind of scattered everywhere. So I'm definitely going to work on getting things a little more organized so I can start doing other things besides cross stitch. Start painting. I've got some painting commissions for um, banners that I need to work on. Do have to figure out exactly what my setup is going to be in here because I don't think I will work on this table because the banner is longer than six feet. I'll have to figure out how to do it with move cameras around and do things behind me. That will be interesting. Luckily, we do have a um, tripod, so that's what um, Cujo and I were doing for date night. We were using a, a tripod. And it worked pretty well. I think I'm going to change colors because of trying to get these landmarks established. And I left my needle minder in the other room, so I'm without a needle minder. I really need to get another one or five. But it's low on priorities because there's other things I need more, more than a needle minder. If I if I was doing it right, for lack of better terms, I would be have I'd have at least six needle minders, maybe seven, one for every project on a Q snap. So 
So that was E-Crew. Where are we going next? Okay, so next to that leaf. Is that a W? Okay, what was W? Five, four, three. I really should organize this better, but I'm not. And what color is five, four, three? Beige, brown, ultralight, so it's a white ish looking one. There it is. Found it. Organizing. I should really organize the floss for this better. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. I think we're definitely doing more ruffles today than we have been in a while, so it's definitely more of a ruffle, ruffle butt. No, I'm making making knots. Alright, now we can start stitching again, now that I got my floss figured out. some of this ruffle butt figured out. Also my goal in here is to get some better lighting so that we can definitely see what I'm doing better and that I can see what I'm doing better because that's kind of important. There's things I want to do for the stream, get things figured out. I'm really enjoying working on the carousel horse. I haven't had quite the urge to work on it off stream because I've got so many other projects going on cross stitch wise. So it's nice to have this in just one place to work on. In this case, on stream, which I'm for sure having fun with it. Let's see, let's see. 
let's see. I got my stitching out too for a few while Kyle wraps up for the night. Made it tough to text. Oh, that's understandable. Definitely. I find that I'm doing a lot of stitching when I watch streams. It's like, oh, I have to put my stitching down so I can say a few things and then I got to pick it back up. So I completely understand. Other times you're nodding to like what the person's saying. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And then you're like, oh, wait. They can't see me nodding because I'm on the other side of the internet. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm totally, totally here. I don't know how long I'm going to go for tonight, but I definitely wanted to get in and get some streams in just to make sure that I'm still streaming. If I could get a couple earlier shifts a week just to get an earlier after even an early evening stream in would be great. But I'm at the whim of the scheduling gods. So it all depends on what they decide to have me do. Also earlier streams means I don't have to worry about coming into contact with my ex on the train. Which was, which is always an interesting adventure. My ex, <laughs> my ex is uh, a conductor on the commuter train that I take home most evenings. Yep, <laughs> you're nodding too. Yeah, totally understand what you're saying. Get you. I've done that listening to streams, like, oh yeah, nodding along, like, okay, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. And then you're like, oh, they can't see me nod. It's all good. The more I work with the Q-Snap, the more I realize that I would not prob I probably will eventually get a 17 by 17, but I don't see myself using one very often because I'm finding the 11 by 11 to be almost too big in some ways, but I definitely want it for this project because of the space on it. I really like using um, half of an 8 by 8 and half of an 11 by 11 and making an 11 by 8 or 8 by 11. It seems to be one of the best sizes, at least in my opinion, for stitching with. It's like the size of a piece of paper. It definitely works really well. The 8 by 8 is perfect for traveling though. I would like to have that with me when I do my stitching on the train. It's the perfect size. Occasionally people ask me about what I'm doing in terms of stitching, which is always kind of fun. Like, yes, I will tell you about my stitching and I will enable you to do more stitching yourself. Mwahaha. This is a half a three-quarter that goes this way.
we go. those stitches in, making it look like a ruffly ruffle butt. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Elf. Yes, we are ruffle butting it up tonight. I'm actually working on ruffles in the ruffle butt. I just don't know what we're going to do when I actually move out of the ruffle butt and into non ruffly parts and non butt parts of this stitch. Do we still call it ruffle butt? Because it won't really be ruffly butt anymore. Or is this always hashtag always ruffle butt? <laughs> it still has a ruffle butt, so it will always be a ruffle butt. Okay, fair enough. Definitely slowly plugging along on this one. I had to take the moment to figure out where the heck I was because it's like I haven't worked on this in almost two weeks. I don't know where I was. But I do need to get back into working on it regularly. Definitely to definitely need to have at least one day a week that I stream this so that I can I itchy nose, I'm sorry stay on track and don't let it become one of those whips that stays in progress for years because I have one of those it's sitting in the box to my right I look at it going I should work on the ocelot and I go but I don't want to work on the ocelot so I'm not going to hey green Aussie how you doing Not too bad, not too bad. Cujo is somewhere in the other room. He's not in here with me. I don't even think he's in viewing right now. Silly Cujo. So I'm working on the ruffles of the ruffle butt. There's also more leaves and flowers to get in here as well. Just 
slowly plugging away at it. Taking a little stitch here and a little stitch there. I'd like to stream more than I have been, but the work schedule is made up to... You won't get colors on that, but you have five more to go before you fill in the white. Is that on the Pokemon Elf? I was hoping to get further right on my Biscarnu, because it's all white right now, but the white looks so pretty on the fabric, so that's kind of fun. You are doing so well with that Pokemon Elf. I'm so amazed how quickly you can stitch that. I don't lose exactly where I'm going. Getting the edge of the ruffle established. The more landmarks, the better. I cross country stitch, so I'll do sections at a time. And cross country meaning working on one color and following it to wherever it goes, as opposed to working another color down and a whole five stitches. I love and hate when colors are like that. You're like, oh yeah, I got another color done and I'd only, okay. There are sections like that in here. It's like, oh, I'm working on this color and I just did five stitches and now it's not in a convenient place to pick up again, so I'm going to park the color and find another color to work on. There we go. Hey, Hikari, welcome. I can't even get Annika to fall asleep on me half the time. She's getting too active. You one color to fill in three Pokemon all at once, so one five cut stitches was welcome. Yeah, I bet. It's like, oh, yay. Respite. Um, if I worked on the summer style Hikari, there would have been a riot in my channel, and I really didn't want a riot. There would have... I mean, Sarah had even put away the pitchforks and the torches, so there would have been a full-on riot. <laughs> because there, it's been a while since we've worked on Ruffle Butt, so... Yeah, and actually Summer Style is going to be put away for a little bit. I have to finish the page I'm on on the fish, so that's where we're going with that. T, the little sideways T, that's a blend, right? I thought that was a blend. Maybe it's not. Yes, yeah, so they demand ruffle butts were demanded. Four, three, six. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to wait to finish Pokemon before you work on Summer Cell. 
Yeah, good luck with that. I'm back up to seven works in progress again, so... 436. And I've got four... Pro um, four. Three additional projects all kitted and ready to go, so... You might be able to get a full page done tomorrow if you hit it hard. I bet you can do it. I don't think I will finish the page I'm on for the fish. I still have quite a bit. You've been off Discord all day because the baby refused to let me do anything besides hanging out with him all day after I came home from work. That happens. I came in the door, and uh, we have in the new in the new place, and we're in a condo. Uh, we our front door is on ground level. But you immediately come into the foyer and you go up a flight of stairs to the living area of our place. So we have baby gates installed because um, my baby is crawling and starting to walk. The last thing I need her doing is falling down the stairs. While we are very close to a hospital that takes my insurance, I would prefer not to have to go to the emergency room for something that I can prevent by putting up a gate. So I came in the door, and the dog got all excited because I was home. So Quiche was, you could hear her her nails tap-tapping on the laminate floors. And then she even gave me a little couple little barks. She rarely barks, so that's something that she was so that excited that I was home that she barked. So I pet her, came in the gate, and then said hello to my, my baby girl. And she was very upset that I didn't pick her up because I needed to eat dinner. I was starving. Well, I wasn't really starving, but I was very hungry when I got home. And then she cried while I tried to eat. It was it was, it was was kind of sad. But I don't blame her. We have, my husband and I have very long days because of our commutes right now. So, we're away from her for longer than I'd like to be. But, that's the way it is right now. I should have done the V. Oh well. We'll do that next. Oh yeah. Baby definitely wanted the mommy time when I got home. I mean dads are awesome, but there's something about mom. No, I came in and, and my husband had her watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. We'll do that. We'll put her in her activity jumper and give her, um, prop up the tablet so that she can watch Mickey Mouse so that we can get some stuff done while well, she's distracted for a little bit. This is definitely one that I'm doing like five stitches and I'm changing colors. Oh, sorry. It's getting used to a new microclimate, so my nose is kind of runny and my itchy. Which is no fun. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Starting to look good. There. And it doesn't pick up anywhere that's easy to get to. So, we are going to change colors. Yeah. 
So, um, that V color is 502 and 522. Do I have any of that already done? I do not. 502 and 522. I had some and I used it all. 501. There's the 502. And I need 522, which is right here. This is a blended color and on the chart it has the symbol and then the two colors kind of bracketed together which means I take one strand of each color and make it a to make it a new color and Teresa Wensler the one who does this who designed this pattern is notorious and a master of blending colors that gives nice subtle shades so it's always the challenge with a blend is to get your threads even Glad we're moving into a color that's easier to see when stitching. Doing some green. Yay, green. You don't need your finger. It's okay to send the eye back into it. Ah. Uh. You do need your finger elf. How else are you going to hold the needle so you can stitch? I'm actually looking forward to very much having Friday off from work. I get to sleep in and if I can get to 6 o'clock I would be in so immensely happy. 
I get up between 3.30 and 4.30 most mornings so I can make the train to work. Oh, Green Ozzy, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Startled me when you know, you had silence on my end. All of a sudden, alerts go off. I know now understand why you jumped so much, Sarah. And <laughs> this figure just heard that the eye went almost all the way between the layers. Again. Ow! Careful! Elf, you're not supposed to hurt yourself. Okay, I see what's going on here. So the real question is, Saren, have you drawn blood with the new needle yet? I can still draw blood with, with these. I've managed to do that at least once per project. But if you don't hurt yourself, you can't make a blood sacrifice. See, it's very true. You must make a blood sacrifice to the crafting gods so that they are very ha so they are happy and pleased so that you're crafting goes somewhat well. At least that's what I have found works. Whether that's actually the case or not, not yet. How are you liking the new needle? Are you getting used to it? It's kind of amazing how the right needle can make a project flow better. I used to be in that boat, Saren. I would use whatever needle I could find. Sharps didn't matter. It went. I could th if I could thread it, and if I could get it easily through the holes in the fabric. Sure, didn't actually draw blood this time, but Kirsten should have peased them for the tonight. <laughs> I used to use any old needle for my cross stitch. I have, within the last couple of years, really um, I really have enjoyed with it. Uh, take a bit too used to keep missing the turns, if that makes sense. Yeah, it you know going from the front to the back is that what you're talking about? kind of get used to that and find where it works. But yeah, the Bowen needles are so nice. This is, these is, um, I'm using a 26, um, size 26 chapter needle right now. And I'm finding that for me, this is the perfect size. It works with most of the fabric that I'm doing. I did pick up some more from Amazon. I'm not 100% sure where I put my package. Oh, hey, Green Ozzy. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. I'm surprised you weren't following already or Twitch was being stupid. Silly, stupid Twitch. Back to front for you. Okay, I get you what you're saying. And Elf, you still drop your needle, needles if you change sizes. Yeah, um, I find that if I use a needle that's too small, like too, um, too small of a gauge for the fabric, I drop it a lot more. I do okay switching needle sizes when I go between different um, fabric counts. But I, I have definitely found that the tapestry style needles are definitely really nice 
for the cr for cross stitching. And you fi you'll figure out what works best for you. I do find the larger hole it makes it way easier to thread my needles. Definitely give it at least a week, Saren, before you decide that this needle isn't for you. Yay, getting more leaves done, so we get more flowers, so we get more ruffle. We can actually move into the carousel horse flank here. Hey, Mom. Uh, oh, how'd the show go? I really wish we could get down to see the show. But it's definitely not going to happen. My mom does uh, community uh, wardrobe for. It's like a step behind. It's almost regional theater, but it's not. It's like a the step between community and regional theater. And they do really good shows, and I really wanted to see the shows this summer. But between the baby and the move, I Cujo and I are so busy so much going on that I'm surprised I get time to stream sometimes. We just watched part of the first act. Nice. Oh, it's considered regional theater now? Okay. When I was auditioning, it was definitely community theater. <laughs> there we go. Just stitching away here. Shows what I know. I haven't been paying attention. I have much other, bigger things going on in my life than having to worry about what kind of theater it is. There we go. Hmm. Gonna finish up with this color and then unfortunately I think we're going to call it a night. I'm getting tired. I can feel myself going, oh you need to go to sleep. Kaya, you need to go to sleep. No, I got myself a knot. No, bad. Oh, I fixed it.
but yeah, I'm definitely getting tired. I'm definitely going to try to figure out stream times at work, even if I have to do more shorter streams. Yeah, it's almost 10.30 here. It's it's not that it's late, it's just that I get up early, so early each day because of work, that my days are so long. By the time I get home, I eat dinner, I, I basically put the baby to bed, and then I either go to bed myself or I do something else like I stream or cross stitch and watch TV with Cujo. But I definitely wanted to get some streams in this week, even if they were just hour streams, just to kind of, you know, make sure I'm still around and get try to figure out what works best in terms of a stream schedule. I do know that Wednesdays are not going to remain a stream day because Cujo and I want to go to fencing practice and there's one like 15 minutes away and it's on Wednesdays so we're going to do that. That means I might be streaming on a Tuesday instead. Definitely is going to vary week to week. I wish I could have more of a set schedule at least day wise than I do. But we'll play it by ear and figure everything out that way. Yay, we're actually... You know, I think I made pretty decent progress for the time that I was on tonight. Definitely can kind of see what I did. Did this, this stuff here and a little bit of brown and this green section so that I could figure out where that I'm going next. And I'm not going to park because I'm, I'm kind of working and feeling working my way down so that I can get basically I'm going to do all the ruffle around here so this ruffle continues down and meets up with this other part of the ruffle here there's flowers and whatnot and that's kind of my goal is to do this section here and once that's complete I'll be in a position where I definitely need to move the cue snap. I'll have to figure out which direction I'll go, whether I'll finish off the tail and the flank, uh, or whether I'll move into the body and the head. Definitely going to do the carousel horse and then do the border. Because of the way this one works out, I think it's going to be easier that way because the center pole on the carousel horse, which picks up about here, right in there, almost touches the border on the top. So it'll be really easy to make that jump from the pole to the top border. And yeah, question for, uh, um, I'm doing this, I'm actually doing, um, two over two. I'm doing two threads over two thread, two floss over two threads for mine, full stitches. Because um, I, I know the pattern I'm working on calls for 36 count, no 32, 32 count, 32 count. But I'm working on the 28 count and I'm actually doing pretty, um, enjoying it very much. So I don't know if you can really see, but this is the Viscornu I'm working on and I'm doing two pieces of floss over two threads on the fabric. And it's really, let's see how close we can get. It doesn't really want to focus. There, yeah, so you can see there. So that gives me the squares. Same thing I'm doing on this one. This is also 28 count. I'm doing two over two, two uh, pieces of floss over two threads. Definitely have to do two piece, two uh, strands of embroidery floss because of the, um, blended colors in the green and there's some in the periwinkle purple but oh thank you Saren uh, so that's kind of where we're at right now um, I would love to work more on it but I am starting to fade I'm I turn to a pumpkin if it gets too late So 
uh, even in two over uh, two over one full stitches of fabric. You might want to go two over two, or one over one. Uh, depends on how big you want your biscornu to be. Is my recommendation, because um, uh, with Naka's fabric, as it dies, it kind of shrinks up a little bit because the dyeing process. So it's more like working on I think she said like 30 count as opposed to 30, uh, 28 count. Uh, so that's going to be it here for me. Um, I would love to sit and chat all night. Um, but yeah, I'm start my brain is starting to go all kinds of other places. So I, I hope everyone had uh, fun. I want to thank everyone for joining me tonight. Uh, I do appreciate you staying up late with me. It's, it's always fun. Uh, probably will be, I uh, don't know what time I'm streaming next week. I'll put up a schedule. Um, um, in the next couple of days, once I look at my schedule again, it's completely brain is completely squirrel over there somewhere. Yeah. So that's uh, where we're at. We'll be so I'll give you a little bit of closer look. Did a little bit in right in here, so didn't get much done tonight, but not too bad in the time. Ah, uh, now you're good, Hikari. I would have been like off and out of going a million places in at once. So that's my bad too. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, once we get some of my schedule and once I'm more used to the commute, I think we'll get things more solidified. I have plans and definitely going to be implementing them after um, we get back from Seattle. Uh, Cujo and I are going to be in Seattle for a few days um, for my grandparents' memorial. So once we're back from that and don't have anything to worry about other than Annika's first birthday, which is going to be in August... I'll be able to focus more on other things. Who knows? I'll never get to focus on things. No, but it's all good. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Uh, it's always fun, and I cannot wait for next time. So um, see you guys around, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.